Hello and uh, good morning to you. My name is Neil Pinkett. I'm uh, the proprietor of Bath Cars and today's car is the little uh, Mark III Golf. This is a 1.6 CL model. It is the five doors bar, so it's nice and useful. Uh, 1.6, probably about 60 odd brake horsepower, 70 odd brake horsepower. 1598cc I think it is, so it's, um, I think it might just be over the uh, um, on the tax bracket for the 1.6. Uh, we'll check on the DVLA sites to tell you what it is to tax it for six months. It is actually currently registered as disabled, so the taxation class will need to be changed, but that's no problem. We can do all that for you. It's very, very simple. Um, on the R98 with the colour-coordinated bumpers, uh, this one has steel wheels, and we'll run around the tyres in just a second. In fact, what we'll do is we're going to have a look at this, the history a moment. OK, welcome to the uh, service history section then for the Golf. Uh, we've got the original owner's wallet with um, the uh, owner's manuals, etc., there and we've got some documents what have we got here so v5 showing just three keepers from new 1598 cc petrol in red uh, so just uh it's 9898 actually yeah 31st 03 1998 that's the taxation class back to a petrol car it's very simple don't be worried about that service history wise lovely history beautiful loads of stamps one two three Three main dealer stamps up to 21k, 30k, 37k, 47, 58, 68, 78, 89, 101, uh, 109, 119, 129, and then it's basically blank from then onwards. But the car has been serviced because it has just passed its MOT with no requirements to the brakes or anything. Actually, it did have a brake hose. Right, we did have to do a brake hose, uh, two rear tyres. And the handbrake was below efficiency, so that's been adjusted up. And there was a number plate bulb. So, brand new MOT, Friday, th sorry, February the 13th, 2012, uh, is the MOT. Uh, there were advisories done at 158.690. And that's all done. So, nice fresh MOT, two keys, and drives well. Okay, back to the car. Okay, welcome back then. So, uh, let's run around the tyres a moment. So, we've got... Um, a uh, reasonably good tyre there, and in fact he's not far off brand new, that one. Uh, this one here, uh, about 80% uh, to go. Uh, that one there, uh, about 80% to go as well. And a Falcon on the back as well. Uh, good tyres actually, Falcons. He's about 80% uh, to go as well, so plenty of meat on the tyres. The car all stops fine, brakes well, starts well. Rear wash wiper works okay. Um, I'll just pop the boot lid for you. You'll see that uh, although the boot has got some markings to the carpet, it's actually uh, very tidy underneath here. The spare wheel and uh, tool kit have never been out of the, of the back there. And there's the original uh, VW sticker 55 kilowatts actually, so that's about 75 bhp if I'm not mistaken. Has the loaded sticker on the back there, and also RSPB sticker, so whoever owned it cared about the birds. Let's have a look inside. So, electric windows in the rear as well. So, it's four electric windows. Seats are in reasonable condition, a bit soiled, but nothing much to worry about too much. Th two inertia reel belts and a centre armrest. Pockets in the seats. Sorry. Door cards are pretty good order. Decent carpet mats. Again, the carpet needs a bit of a clean out. Bearing in mind, this is only a cheap piece of Partex that's come in. And uh, what I did was basically uh, we had the wing replaced we put a brand new wing on it and uh, had that painted so it does look a slightly different red to the rest of the car but only being very picky um, that's because it had some corrosion in it um, electric windows on the front manual windows driver's seat is not hold or marked but it has collapsed a bit on the on this entry squab so could just be bolstered up if you wanted to mess about with that but again it doesn't really make a lot of difference the pedal rubbers are in pretty good condition to be found so is the carpet underneath there cars done 158 706 starts up perfectly just like that you can hear the idle is absolutely spot on all the fan works fine and he's got a radio CD in here uh, there we go actually the front comes off so it's not on there properly just at the moment I think I think it has to go <laughs> know your product Neil is that it? There we go, that looks like it's on better. Electric windows, uh, so you've got the controls for the back. It's got central locking as well, two keys, power steering, got driver's airbag and the light goes out fine. There's the airbag light, it all goes out fine. Got the case for the front and some old tax discs. 
and we do have all the books as you've seen in the service history just a little bit of light d uh, dusting to the seats there could do with a wet clean if you want to and the clutch which you'll be interested to know clutch pedal feels nice and light uh, easy operation it's not stiff and the biting point is fine that's a good uh, clutch and I've driven the car uh, in fact I've done 32 miles in because I reset the trip when it came in so 32 miles and it drives all spot on this one does have the electric sunroof as well so look at that so you've got electric windows all around power steering and an electric sunroof okay folks so bear that in mind that's a nice little touch it doesn't leak either it's all nice and dry in this car not condensated up tinted glass probably quite an expensive little car when it was new I should have been, expect it was about £12,000 or so um, but it's idling over perfectly and as I say colour coordinated bumpers 98 on the R so anyway we've got a de half decent little car the sills were all okay as well £750 on the nail buys that car rear wiper there she is right there you go thanks very much for watching bye bye